Hey guys, welcome back to OceanWP tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to customize your blog and archive pages making use of OceanWP. Stay tuned. So it's rather simple. In fact, it's super easy. Um, I'll be showing you guys how to access that panel within the page customizer. So first things first, what we have to do is we head, we have to head back over to our dashboard. Okay. And I'm just going to go over to the post section over here. And as you can see, I have a collection of default Lauren Epson posts. So I'm going to open up a single blog post. And this is the design of a single blog post. Okay. Now, if you wanted to edit the archives, say for instance, we clicked on all posts by admin. It's going to take us over here. So these are the archives. Okay. Um, and if we click on customize page now, just wait for it to load. And then we go over to blog and blog entries. Okay, so single blog post means that we're gonna we can edit we can edit the way uh, one single post is displayed, and I do have a video on that, so please make sure to go check through the other videos. You will find out if you want to find out how to edit a single blog post. But we're gonna be editing a the archive pages. So as you can see here, it says archives and entries layout. Okay, so right now we have the this current layout, the top right one, set up at the moment. And if we click on the bottom right, you'll see that it's going to change entirely. So as you can see, this one, it looks, it's, it's changed. We have a left sidebar over here with um, archives. So if we had different categories of archive types, they would obviously display under there. Uh, the category section, okay. So, and then another sidebar on the right. So you can obviously change up between the different styles over there. All right, uh, clicked up over there. So it'll change, and then we can see we've changed it again. Now you can further you can further customize it. So we can obviously change if you want the uh, images to be a large image on the block style, or a grid. I think that's what it was set at, or thumbnail. Just like that. So you can pretty much customize and you know create your own archive page over here. Um, we can choose the either the position of the image on the right or the left. Vertical position of the, you know the image, either center or bottom. Um, you can change the image width. So I'll say 300 pixels. Maybe 500. Here we go. We can change the category colors. So those are the categories over there. You can see it's changing. Um, if we hover over the category, we'll choose a different color. So we'll go to white, so you won't see it anymore. Just like that, it disappears. Uh, the comments. So you can obviously have access to all of this, all these different colors. Uh, we can change how many words must be in the excerpt. So we'll change it to 500. Let that load, and then you can see it's very long. That's almost the entire post. So I'll revert it back to 207. And 
make it a bit less. Let's call it 28. There we go. And then for the pagination, um, infinite scroll. So that means if you scroll through the entire section, it'll carry on scrolling until it reaches the last blog post. And I think they were already max. So yeah, let's just choose to next or previous. And then that is basically it. You can also add an overlay. So if we choose to deselect the overlay, you will see that it'll just be the basic image. If we add that again, it adds like a darker tinge to it. Look carefully. And that's basically it. Um, there's a lot more you can do. You have to play around with the different settings that are available. Um, and if you do change between the different blog posts, some of the different options. So feel free, just, just spend some time and play around and find the one that best suits your design for your website. Um, and that's it. And thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Cheers, guys.